I'm not gonna lie, I've kinda wanted to show you guys the material plus like how to kinda make it. Some that kinda looks like this, somewhat realistic. Still haven't figured out like all the kinks like looks as close to as I could feasibly get and is a pretty good starting material. As also just a lot of weapon space, so I'll show you guys how to do that. For this we're gonna be using a render texture. And what a render texture is uh, is basically a scene component scene capture 2d which is a camera and whatever this camera sees it goes on to a texture and show you guys how kind of that works so you just go here look for a scene capture 2d or if you want to make an actor you can do that as well and in here you want to go to materials and textures and look for render target right and on here you just give it the render target now if we put it something like right here you apply this material And it applies the shaders you could see that the camera whatever the camera sees is just pasted on there and that's kind of how we get the basic for effect for the realism so and then what you want to do is you also want to have a like a reticle overlay which I have right here it's just a simple a cog kind of still working on it but yeah so what you want to do is you want to create a new material you go in the materials textures and right here material and you just name it like basic overlay or whatever you want to call it and open it up and you just want it to be a surface opaque and i think when i was testing it anyways unlit works the best because the camera sometimes you're in a dark environment and it sometimes makes it darker we need two texture samples and this one we, we both we want both of them to be a parameter so the first one is going to be the render target so this is what the camera sees and the second one we could copy this it's going to be the actual overlay so for now let's just do i don't know this texture i had and then for the overlay we can use this acog reticle that i've had from earlier okay so simply how this effect works is we use bump offset what a bump offset is it just kind of adds like 3d effect so how i have it set up is we use a bump offset here we just also add another node called scale uv by center we attach this to the uv and we apply this to the that so the bump offset from the center will apply this so if i get this is the emissive color we also have to add the height input which i just do uh you can just press the one key or you can look for constant that or i think it's just constant this one here and you can click on it and i think negative 800 works for me and you want this over here as well for the texture scale and i've done it at like 50. so if you see here it kind of has like depth to it kind of like real life so now that side is good you kind of want to copy this over to the actual overlay you could just copy and paste everything over and what i've done is 800 and for this one i've done 15. And to apply these two together, you go for L, you can press L or look for the LERP and it's linear interpolate mode. And you put A to this, the RBG, RGB to A, you want the alpha as emissive color always. And you put RGB on B, the alpha, you want to put it on this. So it LERPs between itself and it looks kind of weird right now, but we haven't added the actual circle. So right now, it's going to look a bit sketch. But now we just need the actual like circle. So what we're gonna do here is we need another bump offset node with this. You can just kind of copy this stuff over the height, everything like that. Now we need a radial gradient exponential. Pass in this UV. What we're gonna do here is we need two constant values, one for the radius and one for the density. So how big the circle is and how like you know how far it's gonna spread. You also need um, that's kind of actually so bump offset this one you want a positive value so when it's a negative value it goes deep positive goes out so I don't know 
how it kind of works. I'm a programmer, not really my job to have this stuff working. But I could break all. We do a lurk node from this to this. So here, what we're gonna do this one's alpha. So whatever this value is, I'll also we're gonna yeah whatever this value is, we're gonna you know lerp from black to whatever this is. So if we if we're not able to see it, it'll go from black and just drag it into a miss of color. Now you're gonna see everything black, and that's because we haven't set up the actual values here. So for the radius, you usually want it as a pretty decently sized number, and this is always double. It just works for me the best. And now you can see here, it kind of looks pretty good. If you wanted it, it could be a lot bigger, but just save that. And if you wanted, you can go back over here, add back that scene capture 2D, place it wherever you want. Make another render texture just to test this out. Or render target. Drag the target into here. And back to the basic overlay, if we give the render target down here, we we'll give it the actual target here. We save and we drag the basic overlay to this, which the UVs are kind of, but you can kind of see what kind of look we're going for, where it's like kind of you know in there, and it works when you rotate this. It gets kind of sketch when it sees itself, but you can kind of see what kind of visual effect we're going for. Yeah, this is like some of a short video, but there's not really any tutorials on how to do this. So this is not really the end, but like it's a pretty good starting point if you guys really, you know, want a realistic scope. Good luck.